It's been very moving, very interesting to work with a team of a monkey bar trying to bring the Peasant Prince into a theatre play for children. Uh, I find it's this whole process very creative and it's, uh, it's, it's really marvellous to have all the creatives around the same table and talk through ideas and uh, also uh, it's a very honest exchange about how to make the story uh, more impactful and alive. There are many moments in The Peasant Prince that I find incredibly inspiring. Um, certainly the story in the classroom when he is taken out and, t and tested to see whether he actually um, could go to the Beijing um, Ballet Academy is one moment. Th there's those incredible moments when he really grows as a person and you really see that very clearly when he confronts Teacher Gao who's quite a, quite a strict disciplinarian at the ballet school and, and there's a very strong confrontation which we've kept in, in the story itself. And I find that a great moment of growth for him as a person. So the play obviously moves very, very quickly throughout about 50 minutes to an hour. So it needs to be very fluid, the set design and costume design needs to be very, very fluid and, and move very quickly. And also we're more interested in the space um, suggesting rather than stating each location um, because that's better for the imagination anyway. Um, it's a beautiful thing that's written into um, the story, the picture book, um, that's also written into the play, which is the, uh, a wall covered in newspapers. And, and that's just a really simple way to um, create a sense of something being warm and tactile, but also that that was used to just warm up their, um, their Kang, their living space. Uh, after reading the script, uh, what came really apparent was this idea of the ballet bar and um, we were really inspired to uh, look at how we're going to tell this story inside, say, the classroom, this ballet class. So one of the initial ideas is to, you know, have all the characters play all the teachers and, um, and be able to swap and move and there's this great sense of being able to play and make movement within a scene just by having like a prop, which is a, the simple ballet bar. I think one of the most exciting challenges regarding sound and music in The Peasant Prince is the fact that often things are very overlapping and flowing, almost, almost like a dream in the way that some scenes flow into each other and we introduce the, you know, the next part of the story. The sort of frame for the whole piece is almost like a, a flashback in one moment of time. So it has that dream language of scenes or memories over, you know, overlapping and flowing into each other. Every adaptation has its own specific challenges. With The Peasant Prince, we went through a very long discussion as to how we would set it and how we would, um, how we would write it as a piece. And we decided to make it a memory play. So the entire work is very much from Lee's Twin Sin's point of view. And that allows us an, an enormous amount of scope in terms of theatricality and style. You know, one of the great joys of the project is working closely with Lee Twinson. He is the most enthusiastic, positive, encouraging person you could ever possibly meet. And he has such a love and investment in the project itself that we just want to make it the very best play that we can make it. Well, I hope the children uh, can just really gain some appreciation to through, through my story and life experiences to gain the, uh, the appreciation of how much, how lucky uh, they are today with opportunities, boundless possibilities in their lives. And to be able to, you know, just really be able to get a sense that with hard work, with dedication, determination, anything's possible. You can make any success um, if you're willing to go that extra mile.